So we're back again for milestone card time and I'm going to do a very quick shuffle this time and see what we come up with and we've got, okay, so today we demonstrated a growth mindset. What's a growth mindset, Jeff? Well, as it says on the card here, we added the word yet to the things that we can't do. So instead of saying we can't do this, we said we can't do it yet. And as well as that, we've found out a way of learning how to do it. So we've gone on and we've given ourselves the opportunity and then we've cracked how to learn that skill to some degree. So why is that important to an agile team or a team developing their, their ability to become great? Well, most of these teams that are working in this situation of, of self-organizing, they're going to be they're going to be faced with new challenges. They're not going to be blessed with the opportunity of repeatability. So they're going to have new things to learn, new problems to solve, uh, and possibly they're going to be needing to learn skills outside of their own personal, individual, functional specialism. And all of that is quite scary. Uh, and if we believe that we are fixed in terms of our ability to, to learn new things or our intelligence is a fixed capacity, which a fixed mindset would have you believe, then it's going to be really difficult for us to do that. But instead, if we adopt a growth mindset, by doing that, we're, we're making the assumption that we have the ability to learn new things. Our intelligence does have the ability to be grown and expanded and crafted and developed and trained. Then we can take on these new challenges and learn new skills and become more productive, more valuable, more functional and more fulfilled. And it also, once you see teams getting into the habit of doing this, not only do they learn new skills, but they're also developing a sense of positivity, of optimism, that the challenges aren't as insurmountable as they thought before. The assumptions that we've made about what's possible might be flawed. And actually, there's even more opportunity for us to add value and make positive change than we might have thought before. And that goes past our individual skills or our team capabilities, and even expands in time into organizational processes and policies and structures, things that previously might have been seen as taboo topics that teams couldn't or shouldn't be challenging. That's a great place to, th to be as a team. It's a great thing to see. There are some risks. Okay, So if we're getting into a habit of experimentation, we can spread ourselves too thin. We can get carried away and run too many things and try and get better at too many things at once. And so what happens there is instead of getting better at one or two things, we don't get better at anything. And that can be quite demoralizing and wasteful. The other thing is it requires an element of vulnerability because we need to admit that we don't know something or we can't do something right now, which can be seen as a little bit of a weakness. And if we try something and then fail when we've just told ourselves that actually with a growth mindset, learning that new thing or becoming able to do that new thing is possible, then we kind of judge ourselves a little bit too harshly and it can be quite demoralizing. So what can you do? Well, you can get into a habit of running some experiments. You can add the word yet to we can't do that. Uh, and take the pressure off yourself by just trying something, getting a little bit better. And remember, when you were small, when you were a toddler and you couldn't walk and you fell down trying to walk, you didn't give up, you didn't get in, uh, daunted or overwhelmed by that, that, that new skill that you wanted to learn, you just got on with it and you did it. And taking that pressure off yourself increases the chances of those successes happening. So tie it together with the previous card of bounce back agility, increase your resilience and increase your growth mindset. Give it a go and see if it helps your team go from good to great.